Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to activate one click trading on Optimus Trader for swift and efficient placing of orders. So, by default on this platform, when you do attempt to place an order, no matter what symbol or market you are trading, you will get essentially a confirmation window before you place your trade. So this basically creates a sort of buffer per se. It, in some situations, it may slow you down if you are trying to place high frequency trades or whatever the case may be if you need to place trades at that certain instant. If you notice without one click trading on, if you're playing the long game, it might not matter so much if you have a specific price in your head, but if you need to buy at the market or need to buy at a specific price and then the market changes, it may mess you up a bit. So that's where one click trading comes into play. It essentially allows you to whatever, when you're ready to place that trade, when you do press that order button or you do go to place that trade, it'll place that trade instantly. So you don't get that confirmation window, which will in turn slow you down and potentially make the market may change in that time in which you need to enter in all your parameters. So let's take a look at this for a clear understanding. So right now, as you can see on our chart here, we do have one click trading turned on. I'll turn it off real quick to just show you what this looks like. First, we'll need to select the trading account. We are using a rhythmic demo account here. Once we have our account selected, we can choose a symbol. As you can see, I have ES typed in here and I'll select the ES contract. So once we have data flowing on our chart, we can begin to go ahead and place a trade. So as you can see, we do have our different order buttons right here by market, by bid, by ask, and we have the opposite for the sell sides. So just to show you an example, if I do click on buy market here, as you can see now on the right hand side of the screen, even though it's a market order, it does not matter. You will get your order ticket popped up here. And again, each trader will need something different. Each individual may have a different preference. So for most traders, this may be fine. Like I said, if you are playing the long game and you have a specific price in mind, whether that be a market order, limit, stop, and you need to go in here and you need to manually type in a price, that's fine. Go ahead, you can do so as you normally would. But if you need to place that trade in an instant, like I said, the market can potentially trade while you're in here in constructing your parameters of the trade. Now, if you do need to place some advanced order types, you still may need to go through this order ticket window or even click on the advanced order ticket window to go in there and place your stop loss, take profits, things like that. Use the advanced order types such as OCOs. But again, if we need to just go through here, we can just place a regular market order and then we can confirm. So as you can see, we have our market order there. I'll cancel out of this position right now. You can do so by just clicking on that X on the position and you'll close your position out. Now let's see how it is with one click trading. And again, the second I click this buy market button, our trade will instantly be placed rather than having to go through that order window. As you can see, I click buy market and boom, our position is instantly added. So as you can see, there's no buffer period. There's no period in where you'll need to construct the parameters. If you see a price and you're ready to place that trade with one click trading on, you just click your button right there and boom, your position's automatically added. So that's an example of trading through the chart with one click trading. Now, if you do like trading through the dome rather than through the chart, you have that option as well. So let's actually add a depth of market or a dome. So we'll go through widgets, scroll down and click on depth of market. Let's bring it up to the top here and let's select our trading account. And this time we'll select the yes one more time, just so you know, the symbol selection is down here in the bottom left rather than the top left as it was on the chart. So we'll type in ES, we'll pull up our contract there. As you can see, the data is flowing. Our stop is still in there from before. So that's just something to keep in mind, but let's try and do a one click trade. Now, unlike the chart, there actually isn't that button right there on the dome. So we'll need to go through our settings here. And as you can see, we have one click trading and currently it is disabled since it is not checked off. So just to show you, if we go in here, we can either click on our dome for our order or we can click on the order buttons down here. 
As you can see, even with the buy market, one click trading is not enabled. So yes, it does put all the necessary parameters in our order ticket window, which is great. However, like I said, if you do need to place those trades within an instant, you may be slowed down some by this, being that you'll need to enter in all the necessary information and parameters. So with our one-click trading activated, which you can do so right here, as you can see, it is now enabled. And this time we'll do a sell market and boom, as you can see, reflected on our chart and on our dome there, it is instantly placed. No order ticket confirmation window is necessary and our trade is placed the instant we press our order button. So again, just real quick to wrap it up, for those of you looking to place trades, the second you click your order button, you'll need to activate one click trading. Just one more time, you can do so in the chart right here on the one click trade section where my mouse is currently hovering over. If you trade through the dome, you don't have that option available to you right on the widget. So you can go through settings and click one trick, click trading. Just make sure that is checked off and it does say enabled. But that just about wraps it up for this video. If you do have any further questions, feel free to go to our forum that can be found at community.optimistfutures.com. You can post in the comments down below. And if you need to send us an email at support at optimistfutures.com or you can give us a call. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this video helpful.